<sighs> what are you working on? Oh, uh, psychology homework. Uh, I'm reading an article on the theory of mind. What's that? Oh, well, uh, basically it's the human ability to understand that other people have different ideas or information than you do. Huh? Yeah, uh, kids usually develop it by the age of five. So you can actually do with this really easy and simple experiment to tell if a kid has it or not. What's the experiment? Well, uh, okay. Jimmy and Sally are on a picnic. All right, and they brought with them two baskets, basket A and basket B. And they also decide to bring some cookies along with them. All right, these will be our cookies. Jimmy and Sally put the cookies into basket A. After that, Jimmy leaves to go and handle something. While Jimmy's gone, Sally moves the cookies from basket A into basket B. After that, Jimmy comes back. Now, which basket is Jimmy going to look for if he wants to find the cookies? Uh, basket B. Um, no, that's not right. Because that's where the cookies are. Okay, sure. But uh, does Jimmy know that? What do you mean? Okay, um, let's run this again. Okay, okay. Yeah, sorry. So, Jimmy and Sally out on a picnic. Mm -hmm. Two yeah. baskets, A and B. Yeah. Jimmy and Sally put the cookies into basket A. Mm -hmm. All right. Then Jimmy leaves, and that's when Sally moves the cookies from basket A into basket B. Oh, okay. and then Jimmy comes back. Now Jimmy wants to find the cookies. Which basket is he going to look into? Basket B, because that's where the cookies are. Uh, okay, um... I mean, that's gotta be how, like, most people answer this, right? Well, yeah, but that's because most people taking this are three years old, James. Well, then I don't know what the big deal with this whole developmental psychology is if everybody gets it right, you know? But, James, most kids don't get it right. What? Jimmy doesn't look in Basket B. But doesn't he want to find the cookies? Yeah. And the cookies are in basket B. Sure they are, but that's not where Jimmy will look. That doesn't make sense. No, it, it really does. Because if Jimmy already knows what's in basket A, then why would he check it? Uh, no, that's not the... And if this is the sort of stunt that Sally pulls like all the time, then Jimmy should definitely look into the other like basket because he probably figures that Sally switched them. Okay, wait, listen. And, 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 and why are there two baskets anyways? Like, shouldn't they just have like one basket filled with cookies? Maybe, oh, is it like an allergy thing where like Jimmy's allergic to peanuts and Sally's not? And so Sally brings like peanut butter cookies in her basket and then, and then Jimmy has like regular cookies. But then that's like completely irresponsible if Sally puts all of the cookies into one basket because if Jimmy opens up that basket, he could have a serious allergic reaction. And I know they're just kids, but like, I'm not comfortable with that. What, what about his egg pan, huh? Did Sally move that into another basket too? I mean, it's just, I... Oh... Did you get it? Yeah. Sally's a murderer. No, 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 James. Toddlers figure all that out? Dang. I mean, I guess that makes sense because like, kids are like really good with their imagination and all that. So that's like the whole theory of mind thing. It's just like creativity and whatnot. That's not even close. I wonder if my niece could figure it out. You know, even she'd probably get way closer than you just did right there. So you're, you're, you're sure it's not in basket? No, Jimmy wouldn't look in basket B. But says who? Says all the psychologists who have given out this test, like, ever. Okay, okay, how about this? Uh, let's say there's a basket C. Uh, then we take C, uh, A, and B. Let's say we put half the cookies in basket C, a third of them in B, and like, five cookies in A. 
then you start like sounding whatever, like start mixing them around, like you know, like the whole like ping pong ball in a cup game, and then uh, maybe like the cookies start like, switching from one another because it's like quantum cookies where it's like electrons like shifting. No, James, from one no, to James, no, no, James, that's not the point. Okay, okay, listen, all right. Assuming that Jimmy wants to find the cookies, and assuming that Jimmy is going to check where he thinks the cookies are, mm -hmm. and assuming that there's no mind games or whatever going on between Jimmy and Sally, where will Jimmy look for the cookies when he comes back? B, basket B. No, James, no! What the <laughs> did you do? I have told you specifically Twice, twice now, that it is not basket B. And the only other valid option is basket A. Like, I don't even care if you have theory of mind or not anymore at this point. I just... Okay, let, let's try this. Um, excuse me, you, over there. Yeah, um, could you come over here real quick and help us out with something? Sure. Yeah. Hey, uh, what's your name? Jimmy. Well, Jimmy, um, I have some cookies here, alright? Cookies, alright? And I also have two baskets. Basket A and basket B, okay? Sure, yeah. Alright, I'm going to put these cookies into basket A, alright? Okay, now I want you to go over there, count three, and come back, all right? Sure. One, two, three. Okay, Jimmy. Which basket do you think the cookies are in? Is that a peanut? 